What happened with FTX and who was Sam Bankman Fried? Sam Bankman Fried, commonly referred to as SBF, is a crypto entrepreneur, best known for being the founder and former CEO of crypto exchange FTX, formerly seen as the white knight of the crypto community. Thanks to his bailouts and rescue deals for other crypto companies, Bankman quickly shifted to the villain status when it was revealed he was likely implicated in questionable trades that made investors lose billions of dollars. So let's find out what happened to one of the world's largest crypto exchanges and who was the man behind it. Hello and welcome to your daily dash of technology. In this video, we are going to look at how FTX collapsed and the man responsible for it. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon so you do not miss out on amazing and entertaining content. Now, let's get into it. What happened to FTX though? Because many crypto projects are poorly managed, investors have faced market meltdowns and collapses numerous times this year. The latest disruption that shook the crypto world is FTX, the third largest crypto exchange in the world, which until the start of this month was considered to be an industry stalwart. In early 2019, Sam Bankman Fried launched FTX, and in just three years it became one of the largest crypto exchanges with a valuation of $32 billion. Bankman's aggressive marketing campaign included a Super Bowl ad and the purchase of naming rights to the home of the Miami Heat NBA team, which led to his celebrity status. He is also known for political lobbying and donations, as well as working to support the cryptocurrency industry. Texas collapse was not an instant thing. It took place over 10 days in November 2022. The thing that sparked the crisis was a report by Coindesk on November 2nd that revealed that Alameda Research, a trading firm also run by Bankman Fried, held $5 billion worth of FTT, the native token of FTX. The report further disclosed that Alameda's investment foundation was also in FTT, rather than in a fiat currency or any other cryptocurrency, essentially revealing that the exchange had centralized control. These revelations prompted concerns across the cryptocurrency industry regarding Bankman's company's undisclosed leverage and solvency. After this report, the world's largest crypto exchange, Binance, announced that it would sell its entire position in FTT tokens, roughly 23 million FTT tokens worth about $529 million at the time. Binance's CEO justified his decision by saying it was based on risk management, following the disastrous collapse of Terra earlier in 2022 that shook the entire crypto world to its core. By the next day, FTX was experiencing a liquidity crisis. Bankman tried to constantly reassure his investors that their assets were stable, but customers demanded withdrawals worth $6 billion in the days following the Coindesk report. Bankman turned to Binance for help. On 8 November, Binance announced that it had reached an agreement to buy the non-US business of FTX for an undisclosed sum, effectively the world's largest crypto exchange, bailing out its closest rival. However, this promise of rescue was short-lived as Binance backed out of the deal just 24 hours later. On 9 November, the exchange said that it would cancel the deal after corporate due diligence raised concerns about the mishandling of customer funds by FTX. The very next day, the Bahamas securities regulator froze the assets of FTX digital markets, following news that Bankman was seeking up to $8 billion in capital to bail out the exchange. On the same day, the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation launched an investigation into the exchange. Still the same day, Bankman turned to Twitter to apologize for the liquidity crisis and admitted on Twitter that FTX's non-US exchange had insufficient funds to meet customer demands. The following day on November 11, Bankman stepped down as the CEO of FTX, replaced by John J. Ray IV, who led energy trading firm Enron through bankruptcy proceedings years before. FTX filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection the same day, revealing more than 130 other companies that were part of the proceedings. The bankruptcy filings show that FTX held assets in the range of $10 to $50 billion and liabilities in the same range. Within hours of filing for bankruptcy, the exchange was the victim of unauthorized transactions, with about half a billion dollars stolen. The hacker continued to drain wallets for several days using a hack called on-chain spoofing. The hacker reportedly then invested those funds into Ether. The Securities Commission of Bahamas took control of the assets held by the exchange on November 18 and instructed Bankman to move assets to the regulator's wallet to protect creditors. The future of the exchange is in serious jeopardy, 
with withdrawals disabled and a notice on the FTX website, saying that the company strongly advises against depositing. This disastrous collapse of the third largest exchange by volume will send a ripple effect through the crypto world for a while. Users on the exchange may never recover their assets, potentially leading to legal action. The SEC and other regulators will see this collapse as justification for tightening regulatory scrutiny of other cryptos, and the government will now be more inclined than ever to step in and create new laws governing digital assets and exchanges. Other major crypto exchanges have paused client withdrawals. Now, let's take a look at the man behind the show, Sam Bankman Fried. Who was Sam Bankman Fried? Bankman was born on March 6, 1992, in California. As the son of two Stanford professors, Bankman grew up in a highly educated family. From 2010 to 2014, Bankman attended the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and graduated with a degree in physics and a minor in mathematics. Before founding FTX, he worked as an intern for New York-based Jane Street Capital. In 2017, Bankman left Jane Street and founded Alameda Research, a trading firm making millions per day actively trading crypto between various international markets. After his firm's successful venture, he decided to create the crypto exchange FTX in April 2019 and launched it to the public in May of the same year. As the crypto world burst into prominence during the pandemic, Bankman and his exchange thrived. FTX acquired the Blockfolio exchange in 2020 for $150 million. As its user base expanded, Bankman appeared to be a solid foundation in an otherwise turbulent crypto world. During a series of crypto failures, Bankman offered financial help to the crypto exchange BlockFi, saving it from a major liquidity crisis. He bought failed crypto lending platform Voyager and made an offer for the assets of Celsius, which went bankrupt during the same period. He also acquired Ledgerx, a derivative trading platform that was never fully integrated into FTX. At his peak, Forbes estimated his net worth to be $26.5 billion. However, much of that was tied to the value of his exchange and its token FTT. All his net worth and success crashed when a report found that most of the cash held by his exchange was in the form of its own token, which is essentially centralized control. This was the story of the demise of one of the world's largest and most trusted crypto exchanges and the man behind it. Tell us in the comments if you have been affected by the collapse of FTX. For more insightful and helpful videos, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Until next time.